Hey guys, today is going to be a quick tip on keeping yourself safe while you're growing screaming hot peppers and saving the seeds. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute Tom, that's a jalapeno, that's not a screaming hot pepper. <laughs> well you're right, but here's the deal. I crossed this in my grow room with a butch tea scorpion. So I had them both growing next to each other. I introduced the pollen from the scorpion onto the jalapeno. So what happens is when you cross two varieties, you don't affect the current plant. In other words, the shape and the size of the, of the one that's being crossed is not being affected, but the offspring is. So the seeds of this are what's affected. So I don't know what these seeds are going to be like. I'm hoping that they're going to have the traits of the butch tea scorpion. What I'm shooting for is a jalapeno shaped pepper with screaming hot capsaicin heat. I don't know what I'm going to get because they may, when I plant these, I'm going to grow these seeds in my grow room over the winter and I might get the shape and size of the scorpion also and I might get the heat of the jalapeno. So I might, you know, I might get a, a mild butch tea scorpion. I don't know what, you never know when you're crossing them what, what you're going to get. But I'm going to grow these. Now the deal is, I don't know how hot these are. These could be screaming hot seeds, hence the gloves. Now if you watched my video before on jalapeno carelessness, you'll know why I have the gloves on. <laughs> because I don't usually wear the gloves when I'm saving my jalapenos. But this time I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be safe. And, and even with jalapenos now, I'm getting a little more sensitive. But uh, I like the jalapeno because it's just at the right heat level for me to be comfortable and to be tasty. And anything more is just, it's uncomfortable. But I'm doing this because I want to see the results that I get. So I'm not going to go and bore you with how to save the seeds because I have another video where I showed you how to save pepper seeds. And I'll put a link to that. But um, it's the same. You just cut it right down the middle. You cut the ends off and you pull the seeds out and you put them on a paper plate and let them dry. It's really, it's just, it's just, it's just like falling off a log. But anyways, what I'm going to show you is how to be safe. Now, here's the reason why I'm doing this. A few years ago, I was at a farmer's market. It was a grower's market where small farmers, they come and have these booths at this big parking lot. And I was at one booth while I was walking by the booth, and I heard one lady saying that um, her lips were a little hot and whatnot. And what they were doing is they were cutting up these hot peppers and putting them in these omelets that they were selling to people and she was lamenting she says my mouth is all you know it's it's burning and stuff and and she says I was even wearing gloves well what I did was I circled back around the lot and I you know about oh probably half an hour later I came back around <clears throat> I thought you know I'm gonna I want to try one of those omelets but she was there and she had been cutting them up again and when she was done she walked to the back and she was she had like a thermos or something she's gonna get some coffee and whatnot and so she took she takes her gloves off and 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 right away I knew because she pulled her one glove off and she was okay there she threw the one glove off and threw it in the trash and then she went like this and she put with her bare hand was pulling off her other glove now okay I'm thinking there's no wonder why she had this this capsaicin all over her because now her one hand is completely contaminated and so anything that she touched, she's going to introduce that capsaicin uh, wherever. So, uh, so I'm going to show you how I do this. Now this was taught to me many, many years ago uh, by people who I was helping out in a greenhouse and they were growing uh, pretty hot peppers and when they were done, they were saving the seeds and stuff a lot. Not, they, they made sure that they were very careful about what they touched. Now the deal is when you when you are done with what you're doing. You want to make sure that you get rid of everything, throw away your paper plates and things, and make sure that the that the knife and everything that you're using go into the sink or the dishwasher. And if you were to take your hand and even set it down on the on the table, well, what happens is when you're all done, that capsaicin is still there. And so when you come back and you happen to put your hand on the table to whatever while you're eating, all of a sudden you're you're thinking, wow, what, what's going on? All of a sudden, I'm, you know, I'm burning up. Well, that's that's what you have to make sure that you're that you're careful about everything you touch while you're doing it. Now, as far as removing the gloves, I'm going to show you 
uh, how I was shown to remove them, and it's really simple. And what you don't want to do is when you have scratch itches, <laughs> like I just did, but I know that these are safe. I haven't been saving the seeds yet. So anyways, what you do is, it's really simple. You take the one glove and you take it off. Now this hand here is completely clean. And you take this glove and you just roll it up in this hand. Very simple. Now conceivably, hopefully, there is no uh, pepper juice or capsaicin anything on the very top of this. So you grab this one here on the top. Okay, hopefully there's none there unless you've been like rolling around in it, which wouldn't make any sense that there would be any there. Uh, if you contain your your work area, there shouldn't be. So all you do is you take this one and grasp it in this hand, and you take this glove like this, and you just pull it. You don't touch anything else. And as you're doing this, you're actually putting the other glove inside of this one. So now in this glove, you have the other glove inside. Does that make sense? So I'm not going to touch this at all. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it into the trash, just like this so that nothing has been touched, nothing has been contaminated. Now that's how I was shown to do it. Um, and of course I do have this white cornstarch or whatever they use inside of it. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's how I do it. So if you're saving hot pepper seeds, be really careful, especially if they are screaming hot pepper seeds. Uh, and that's what I'm hoping for with my, with my cross here. So anyways, I'm going to be growing these over the winter, I'm going to start them probably mid-October or whatnot, and I'm going to grow them in my indoor grow room. So make sure that you uh, check my indoor growing channel, and um, we'll see what we get out of these. But anyways, there's a quick tip on how to make sure that you protect yourself saving screaming hot pepper seeds. All right? So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you all later.